Much of an honor to meet you uh, here tonight at Canada's Walk of Fame. Of course, Canada, the place where basketball was born. How does it feel being part of this induction tonight, especially being such a, a role model, a superstar yourself, a champion, and also an architect for the Toronto Raptors? It, it, it's an incredible um, you know, day for me to be a part of. You know, all the symbolism that's around this day, you know, uh, being here uh, after the Raptors have won the NBA championship, uh, being one of the, the founding members of the, of the Raptors, and, and then Dr. Naismith, who invented the game, being here with his grandson, Jim, uh, to, you know, just acknowledge and, and give thanks. And, you know, when we, when we talk about Dr. Naismith, John McClendon was one of the first uh, students of Naismith and he was also one of the first hires that we that we hired here with the Toronto Raptors John Beethoven and I and you know so the symbolism around this night to coming together they really thought about the game in terms of cultural racial breaking down those barriers bringing people together it was more than just a ball and a hoop uh, there was some values around the game there was a, um, a sanctity around what they were trying to do and there was an appreciation and a respectfulness in just terms of people. And that all came together and I think it culminated when the Raptors won the NBA championship and you saw the parade where the whole country came together. And it was, it was, a, it was a spectacular watch from afar, uh, seeing it on television. And you know, I don't think we'll ever see anything quite like that uh, in sport again in terms of that type of celebration. You'll see City celebrate but I don't think you ever see a country celebrate like that again. You know, I know we don't have a lot of time, but I'm just curious, what do you think he would think if he was here today to see how the game evolved from those wicker baskets that he put up on a pole and trying to figure out how you bounce this ball and everything else to what we see, especially when we go to the, um, the all-star game and we do the slam dunk contest and stuff like that what do you think you would think about this evolution I, I think he would he would enjoy the beauty of the game in terms of um, you know the the athletes in terms of what they've been able to evolve into and what they're able to do but I think he would be most proud of and this is what uh, coach McClendon always talked about they would they would be most proud of how the the roots of the game has evolved uh, in terms of us coming together as people and breaking down the barriers. I mean, that's that's really why they were all coming together, and that's what they were trying to do. So, I think he would he would look down and give a nod of approval about the work that that he inspired and what's continuing to build. Have a great time tonight. Thank you what you've done for this city, and looking forward to all your future endeavors, also. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Folks, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. This has been the toughest way for me to do an interview. I've got my monopod all the way up. How tall are you? I'm about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. And, and your height, sir? <laughs> I have to ask. 5'9". <laughs> five, nine. Five, nine. Are you used to this? <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it for 30 years, and, and that, I, I'm just used to it. You know, so, so I, I try to, if they mess around, they got to do push-ups, and then that gets them to my level. What do you think about what this young man has been doing? It, it's it's incredible. It's a, you know it's a, it's a great ride so far. He started from a, a fifth grader and now uh, he's a, he's a freshman and um, you know the, the sky's the limit like literally and uh, you know it's a great honor and uh, glad to be here. And I was going to ask you when you heard about this happening. I mean, what were your thoughts? I it, I felt really proud of him that all the hard work that he's done so far. Uh, I, I expect things like this to happen because you know he he's going to be off the charts in in, in in the next few years and. And something like this is a, is a great telling tale of what he's accomplished and what he he's gonna his potential is. Did you ever think that this was gonna be happening for you? I mean, you know, just with the love of the game and everything else, and watching how things have grown, getting these kind of honors, and and becoming the star that you are now. I never really thought that this would ever happen to me as a kid. I always thought I would just be a regular kid, just go to school. How can you be? Wait, wait. How can you be a regular kid at this height and being able to do what you do? Regular kid, please. But with all this happening, I feel like it's a great honor. When you heard about this, I mean, what were your thoughts? My mind was blown when I heard about this. I'll help, I'll help pronounce the award to James A. Smith's great great grandson. I felt honored. I was going to help, help it with Isaiah Thomas. You know, when as being a role model also, what do you want to tell other kids out there who are trying to follow their dreams? Because you've been able to do it, my friend. What are your thoughts? 
My thoughts are just to have fun, because if, if you're not really having fun, you're not going to really put the effort and the passion into it. There you go. Well, look, guys, gentlemen, have a great time tonight. Congratulations on being part of all this Canada's Walk of Fame. This is where Canadian dreams come true. You both are perfect examples of hard work and making dreams come true. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. Appreciate it. Thank you. First, thank you so much for making time to stop over here with me on the red carpet, Canada's Walk of Fame. What is this buzz like for you folks? I'm assuming you're not really used to being on something like, I'm going to let you speak. No, it's, it's quite different from home. I have four children. <laughs> what do they think about all this? Oh, they think it's just what mom is doing. They just like to follow and it's a lot of fun. We, we love our family and it's very special to us. Well, this is special for us too. I mean, what an honor for your family. What are your thoughts about all this with this induction and everything happening? Well, it's an example of somebody I think that would be just terribly pleased that what he would think was a very simple idea that he worked very hard on has been such a blessing in just lives, not over, not only in his neighborhood, all over the world. And, and his interest was always the people. And, and he proved that by, he, that's, he kept himself in that position. I'm, I'm interested in the people. And I said, well, you can make money over here. No, no, I'm interested in the people. And he was consistent with that through his entire life. We, we don't know personally, what was he like? I didn't understand you. Personally, what was he like? Well, I think he was a fun person to be with. He was <laughs> full of energy. He was excited about uh, sports. He loved to do that. But he loved children and uh, he loved his grandchildren. He was a grandpa as well as the an athlete and the uh, inventor of basketball. Amazing. What do you think you would have built this whole induction? Everything that's happening here, what do you think you thought? I think it would have been something that he's not usually around. I think he would have been used to working and being with people and teaching and coaching and just would have watched and thought, this is quite something. This game that was just, you know, something we started with simple has impacted so many. I think he would be touched. And, and what do you think about what, of course, happened here in Toronto, knowing that it was on Canadian soil? What do you think he would have thought of that? He would have been celebrating for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Slam dunk, definitely. Have a great time. Thank you so much for what your family has done. Thank you so much. Take care, folks.